They're going to try to take away the top side move, force him underneath. He's not going to go with the cross-handed hold and give him the rollback. They'll double from underneath. Now he gets a shorty on field. He beats him, but he can't get a shot off as Pulver comes back on the double team and is able to break it free. Gittleman out of the cage. Holman. Gets it back, shoots, scores! Clark saying that Mac O'Keefe is going to score low to high. That's about as hot a take as Holman is shooting high to high with serious gas. Better than Marcus Holman. Woo. Accuracy champ in All-Star Weekend a year ago. He's playing for his dad, and the Cannons have some new juice. One on that one minute unreleasable penalty. This is a big possession for Cannons Huge. offensively. They need to stop the bleeding. They need to give their defense a breather. Here comes Drenner. I think you have to have a dose of Asher Nolting, right? Like control the ball from X behind the cage. Up top to Donville. Slide comes now to Kavanaugh. Nolting. Extra pass. Holman scores. Well, that looked pretty efficient. The vision of Asher Nolting is on full display. That's now the second high-end pass that we've seen this afternoon. And Marcus Holman can hammer it from the outside with his right hand, but he shows you the work ethic, the dedication to develop the offhand Lefty in tight. The cannons, the new look cannons, they're not going anywhere. Now he'll chill and sub out. Here's Drenner. Two man game with Donville up top. Gets it back to Holman. Distant shot. Scores from two. The power of the two. Just like that, we got a one possession game on that 95, 94 mile an hour high bouncer from Holman. The whole first game, we saw high bouncers off target. Holman winds this up, uses McMahon as a screen. The veteran knows, keep those feet, that plant foot right behind the two-point arc. High bouncers will go. They will, and if you track Marcus Holman and you scout him, he's not big into that high bouncer. We were talking about tendencies with Mac O'Keefe, you know, with those low body shots to Adam Gittleman, and then he goes back to his patented high heat, right? From low to high. 99 is a bad man in orange, that is for sure. He's got his pro career off to a great start today. Holman, man up. Now it's Trenner who scores. Holman wanted another flag. He's not going to get that, but he gets one of these goals back. So, Karth, you made the point. Archers are not able to put away the cannons right now. And I like the way they're spreading the ball, the cannons. Last in the league in assists a year ago, you're seeing the selflessness of this offense. Yeah, what they're going to run is called a four-man rotation. Nolting's going to carry up. Everybody's just going to rotate kind of one spot. So on that rotation, the ball's going to end up with Holman right in the middle. They're gonna rotate up to him and he's gonna find Drenner inside. So schematically using your four righties all in concert, hard to defend. It forces a defensive rotation and you find Drenner right in the crease. Cannon's making a goalie change on the other end as well. Colin Kirst coming in. Two point goal. The high pass, Geddes ambushed. Knocked away, Kavanaugh's got it, fires wide. You gotta convert those. Yeah. In this game, you're gonna have to find ways outside the six on six to score. You're saying transition, I'm saying maybe rides, something. Nolting against Jack Rowlett. Nolting bodying up using that big 6-2 frame. Feeds Holman, Reardon never saw it. A goal for Cannons. And you could see the thought process with Nolting. He looks inside. Here's Jim Mitchell on his on his shoulder saying, don't throw that pass. And he throws to the adjacent Holman.
So watch this rollback. You're gonna see Nolting look inside here. Oh, that's right. Let's just throw to the open guy on the perimeter. And Holman with a nice little twister, beautiful stick angle to sneak this one by Blaze. Big picture. I think the cannons are better suited when the ball's behind the net as opposed to those top-down feeds we saw earlier. Good things happen when, when Asher's operating with the ball from behind. And then, as you said, the nuance of the finish. Nolting a top 10 pick a season ago. His college coach, John Torpy, used to describe him as magic. There's a lot we can't talk about. We'll get the unplugged version one day. Where can the Cannons get some midfield activity going? Here comes Campbell against C.J. Costabile. Aslanian over to Holman, shovels behind the cage, Nolting. Looking to shake Bowen, he does, and he finds Holman. Asher Nolting with a nifty move and a nifty feed, and Marcus Holman in the right spot. Cannons hanging around at 6'4". And in this situation, I think an unnecessary slide. The Chaos are not known for supporting their defensemen. You're going to see, as Nolting goes, Newman helps here. And, and after the goal was scored, Newman kind of taps his chest like this, like, yeah, that, that was on me. I, I shouldn't have slid. You didn't really need it. And in doing so, kind of going outside the structure of their defense, you leave Holman wide open. Bad slides create offense. If Newman goes there, he's got to get help down from the top from a midfielder. It's a perfect pairing in terms of a guy that likes to dodge, initiate feed with Holman, and that's a no thing. Holman, who just is constant ball movement. You know, his father and head coach, he, he runs around like a wild man, but, but both of them also possess high IQs. Know where to be, know where to look, know the read progression. Here's Holman, gets inside. Does it count? It does. And from 5-1 down, the Cannons pull to even. We saw this last night. Redwoods were down 6 nothing against Water Dogs. Ended up coming back to win the game. This is about recognition, uh, about realizing that you've got a matchup superiority, and I'm going to capitalize on it. And Holman, the energy that he plays with, he leaves everything out on the field and he plays with such joy and it's always been that way yes it's always been that way when he played at gilman the head coach at bl was bob shriver and shriver used to detest mark Holman for his post-game celebrations he always thought he was over the edge i'm like coach he's just enjoying the goal allow him to celebrate he's not drawing attention to himself that has never changed Boyle, you were much more methodical and mechanical in terms of your production for his career. Trainer's got the short stick, Geddes. Dumps it back to Kavanaugh. Get it right back to Drenner. Holman. Aslanian fires one low, and there is a goal. It snuck through. Cannons leading for the first time today. Chaos suddenly stuck on six. They've got one goal in about the last 20 minutes, and this is as soft a goal as you'll ever see score against Blaze Reard. It looked like he was surprised for a moment he let that one Just in. Just from inside the arc. Nice level change, but a left-handed take. And he gets a piece of it. He's just a little late. What's goal cam show? He's on it just a hair late. Aslanian can shoot. Uh, he can shoot the rock. That's his second goal today. I like the production that he's bringing to that midfield group. Chaos last year started 0-4. They were 2-8. and eight. More than myself sometimes, so, you know, that's how that works. Great to talk to Asher Knowlton. Cash App powering the athletes under the helmet. It's cannons that start with the ball, so we get our first look at Asher Knowlton and his cannons attack. Plus 140 today to try and get their first win under Brian Holman. Even though it hasn't resulted in wins, how do you see this Cannons team change under Holman as Marcus' son opens the scoring right on cue? I said it in the open, he's one of the greatest shooters in pro lacrosse history. Won the Accuracy Challenge a year ago. He's an eight-time pro all-star. You give him time.
even room to set his feet. It's like he's got a radar on the top corner. This is a beautiful rip on a lefty goalie in Scadone. Look at the placement. Top left. If you beat him near pipe, there's not much net to shoot at. Four becomes six on five. But before the player can run on, that's a two for Cannons. Chris Aslanian. You want to talk about a stretch shooter. This guy's got some serious juice. And if you don't know his name yet, you will soon. Because he can deliver from downtown. Hobart's finest has the Cannons up by three. A lot of times off a spin, you can go to the side and, and, and you lose your base and it's hard to be a shooter. But when you spin and you stay north-south from that top spot at the midfield, great things happen. Chrome on a 4 nothing run. Holman ends it! Right off the face-off win from Stephen Kelly. Marcus Holman fires cannons back in front. A seven-second response. You know, Kelly last week against the Chaos was a bright spot. 60% goes toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Milkman, wins the draw, but Stephen Kelly is one of the better guys in the league after the faceoff. Defending, getting ground balls, dishing the rock to the sharpshooter, Marcus Holman. When you put Holman at the point, you have to respect him. You have to press out and you have to acknowledge him as a shooter. Matt Campbell on the run, rookie out of Villanova. And now Marcus Holman, go-to guy for this Cannons offense. They're pressing way out on Holman to start this second half. There's Ryan Drenner. Shot clock down to five. Holman steps into it and scores. Marcus Holman, a hat trick tonight. This is beautiful. Look at the shot location. He went high to high in the first quarter to open the game in the scoring column. And this time, from a similar release point, he stings his bottom corner. He's such a smart shooter. The lefty goalie, Scannoni. Look at the placement here. It's the opposite low corner. When Marcus Holman has time and room, in a situation like that, Unless the goalie makes a spectacular save, it's going in. Because his efficiency, he rarely ever hits a goalie. You're, you're forcing a goalie to make a big time stop from 10 when Holman has room and has a moment to identify the cage to know no it's in way. A no, day is insane. No way. Like, I, between him and his brother, two people. I don't think that's healthy. I don't think even doctors would recommend that much. But he enough. dials it down. He doesn't want to feel bloated on game. Oh, weekend, so five so. gallons, you're not bloated, right? <laughs> that's nuts. Maybe three on game on game week. Does he at least have it with cereal? I mean. No, just pure milk. Two percent, he told me. Jeez. He's got to have that's the strongest different. bones in the world. Holman goes low, sneaks it under Scannoni, and fires the cannons back in front. Four goals tonight for Marcus Holman. Look, Marcus Holman is putting on a shooting display tonight that is, is one for the ages from a technical perspective. This one's low to low. Scannoni is upset that he doesn't have it, but when you track Marcus Holman as a shooter, He's so varied, so Scannoni's sitting on that thinking he might rise it, right? Low to high. We've seen a three-quarter overhand release tonight. We've seen a straight overhand release. We've seen a low to low. So he's spraying from all different angles. As if... He would only struggle with it if he looks up. Well, maybe if Romar Dennis shoots, he's pretty tall. Nolting. Physicality against Gavin Adler. Holman catches on the run. That's a shot clock reset. Donville from point blank range. Back 
to back goals from Jonathan Donville. Three in a row for the Cannons, and they've got the lead early second quarter. There's your energy. All of a sudden, they're flying around. They're buzzing like bees. They're making things happen. Great cut by Holman. Nice stop by Concanon. Rebound control is just absolutely essential. And all of a sudden, you've got an Atlas defense where guys are out of position. They're not checked up. You sense an energy difference now, don't you? And it all really started with Asher Nolting, who was a threat on the crease. But what I love about his play is his head is always up. So he can make that feed. He started that ball movement there for the goal. It's a wonderful crossover. Picked up by Holman, two on one. Holman takes it himself and scores. Woo! This game's caffeinated. Cannons by two midway through the second. Watch Holman bait Cannon into thinking he's going to make this pass across the front of the goal. A tremendous ground. Oh, look at him. He looks him off a bit. Cannon shifts with his hips just a little, and he beats him near side. In Minneapolis, enthusiastic and loud crowd here. Man. But very polite, of course, because we are in Minnesota. Minnesota nice. That's right. I, I, you know, I, I felt that at the baseball game last night. I felt it walking around town today. Well, you're running around yelling, go O's. People are still nice to you. Minnesota, they're super nice. There it is. Number 300 for Marcus Holman. The Cannons power play strikes again. And that is history for number one. Boom squad's best. Keeps this one simple from a wing. He lines this up. Gets the defense on the rotation. They're just a second late, and they don't impact the release at any point. You got to get to a shooter's hands, eyes, or body. And from 10 yards, Drake Porter can just turn and rake. That's as simple as it gets. It's just a catch and shoot to the far post. And you look at the, the legends that Holman now has placed himself. John Grant Jr. played for so long. Paul Rabel, a midfielder amongst the Tackmen on that list. And Mundorf, to me, one of the most overrated pro players, underrated ever, playing for the, the majority of his career with the Denver Outlaws. Good company for Marcus Holman with 300 career goals and 12 this year. It's nothing better than a Saturday night over. Get you cranked up for the night. That's too short to bet the under anyway. Here's Bubba Fairman. Holman, good luck, and he Jeez. paints it. Jeez Louise, oh. this is a hammer time. Holman, hat trick. He's been doing that for years. 3-0-1. Drake Porter has some choice words. He should be going after his defense because they, they leave him out to dry. You got a Tucker Durkin slide. Everybody's a step late and a dollar short. Atlas, don't quit your day jobs. Here's Ryan Drenner. And now back to Campbell. Shot clock under 10. Beautiful passing, and it leads to a goal. Ryan Drenner makes it 3 0 Cannons. Chrome don't have the answers to Cannon's hyperspeed ball movement. You want to be an elite team, you share the rock. The number one team in the PLL in terms of assists, it's the Cannons, three goals, three assists. I grew up obviously being an absolute lover of football. Physicality, you got to hit people, it's, you got to be tough to play. And uh, I think that this sport represents that. Marcus Holman with career goal number 302.
beats Scannoni to make it 5-1 Canons. That's one of the most accurate shooters the sport has ever seen. And Dan, when you watch a player shoot the ball now, yeah. because I know you do some coaching too, what's critical when you see a guy like Marcus Holman in terms of his success? Well, I think one, how he catches it high and goes low, right? He catches high, releases high, and fires low. Second, that ball's painted right at that left kind of upright. Painting corner is such a big deal that something you used to talk to my kids about when they were younger, and that's why he's got 302 goals, man. Absolutely, and Holman, I always say he has a radar at the corners, and it's the deception, right? The, the high shoulders, the elbows up, goalie thinks high, he stings low. Coached, obviously, by his father, Brian yes, Holman. Thirteen seconds on the shot clock. Here's Nolte. He's been going right at Giles Harris, unafraid against the reigning defensive player of the year. What a matchup that's been to watch today. Holman with two seconds on the shot clock, has to hurry. Did he get it off in time? Yes! Count the goal, Marcus Holman. This is lacrosse IQ at its best. Holman knows the game as well as anyone. He clearly gets that off before the zero hits. Late shot clock scenario. Number one in blue. Your leading goal scorer. One of the best shooters in PLL lacrosse history. Take a look at the goal cam. This is a beautiful shot. The low angle, you know what I love what he does too? He knows he has a clock to deal with, but he takes that extra step, right? Because he knows if he tried to get that at like two, Scannoni's too big and will hold the pipe. He takes that extra step, and he also extends his arms out, which he'll... All over the field, and we go the other way with Holman. Try to roll under the defender. Wasn't having any of it. Yeah, we talk about Garnsey's shots all the time, but that was some feed that he just made to X. Didn't turn into a goal, but what a feed. Talk about a great feed. Holman skips the entire defense in green and finds Cabot on the far post. This is a ridiculous feed by Marcus Holman. He's dodging down the alley. He kind of draws a double team. And on the backside, you can see Cohen sneaking up field a little bit. Hey, Marcus, you're watching the replay the same way we are. Yeah, at what point did you realize you had that skip pass to Kavanaugh? I mean, I saw so many cutters there. My head was going a little crazy, but that's just kind of what we're about in transition. So many guys cutting, Pat, Chris Islani, and Bubba. And then Cav just flashed a stick, so I made up for it for that shitty pass earlier. <laughs> Under the helmet, powered by Cash. Cash UFC clock, 15. Appreciate that, Marcus. Made up. Kelly avoiding disaster. Yeah, knew he was not in a great spot there. Mm -hmm. Nolten shoots it, not on target, but it stays with Cannon, 16 to shoot. Schrader up to Kavanaugh. Good look, scores, Holman. Coach had to be a mistake defensively. How does Holman get that wide open 10 yards out? He's so slick off the ball. The minute you turn your head, he's gonna be in the scoring spot and having other guys around him like that, that'll know that have that confidence to get him the ball. It's just simple play. Kelly's been great in this first half, but nothing you can do about that shot. Well, just total breakdown interior in terms of IDA and Perkovic. It's just a little pick two-man game inside. You can see IDA saying, you gotta, you gotta switch there, you gotta press out, you gotta jump on that guy's hands. He's a shooter, so typically off ball, you switch all picks. Right. Yeah, you switch all picks. The tough part is when you got two short sticks and one guy doesn't play a lot of defense. Yeah, I mean, this, all these changes that we talked about before the game, they are the ones who worry about it more. Holting with his head up finds Holman. This is it. 
Coleman is ultra aggressive right now offensively. Dude, we didn't win any faceoffs, it seemed like. And, and like it was okay. Like, it was fine. He played defense. Coleman jumps and shoots and scores. Did I mention he was ultra aggressive on offense right now? I mean, he's always been a big energy guy, a big juice guy. A lot of his goals have come in the off-ball variety. You know, here he kind of takes matters into his own hands. Air Holman? Question mark? Oh, what a beautiful Marcus? shot, too. Five hole. At what point did you know you had to go airborne there? Well, it was short time on the clock, and I knew I had a shorty, so maybe I could just tuck my stick and get there, but got lucky. Got lucky. I think that was pretty incredible body control. You actually got a fake in there somehow, too. Yeah, I don't know. Or technically hit the net, right? Because Correct. he hit the side. Hit the side. And then got deflected out of bounds. So they didn't want the reset. Yeah. Kavanaugh. Nolting. Well, I thought about it. Now pulls it back. Gets the double team. Holman, the extra pass. Kavanaugh shoots and scores. <laughs> That doesn't usually score with that right hand, but that was a heck of a shot. It was a heck of a shot, and it was gorgeous ball movement by Cannons. Kavanaugh draws the double team originally. He's the one that starts this whole engine. The ball swings back to him, and this time he can now dodge on a defense that's trying to organize themselves. They don't have a slide ready this time, and Kavanaugh makes them pay. Cannon scored two straight out. Slotting out of the box to Campbell. Campbell draws a lot of attention. Kavanaugh gets it to Slotian. Tries to pull Dodge's way in. Denied. Beautiful look to Holman who scores. To your point, Ryan, uh, maybe oversliding again. You could see Cohen kind of hedged adjacent. He was the, the player next to this dodge. He kind of helps out a little bit. But then the behind the scenes, Holman just gets completely lost. You can see they had two guys going. They have Cohen and Glazner. You can't leave Holman open. Berg off sides again on a faceoff. That's got to be a half dozen times we've seen that in the two games today. Cannons are going to take advantage. Nolting does. And where those offside penalties kill you is you're in the middle of substituting. And you've got offensive personnel in the field. Post turnover, they're like, wait, what just happened? you got defenders trying to get back on the field. Holman wisely pushes, pushes the ball. Easy one more feed here to Nolting. Looks up, no rotation or a late one, and he buries it. Holman's third assist. He's got three goals and three assists on the night. He'll stay with Cannons. Now here's Campbell, the rook out of Villanova. Scored a goal on the run. Beautiful goal earlier in the game. Dondo. Great two-man game. Look at Holman buries it. That's number four on the day for Marcus Holman. So you got a little two-man game. You've got these two defenders for Redwoods right here. Marcus Holman is just going to do a gorgeous job to do a little slip pick behind the place. You're going to get this carry up and then this throwback. Great execution within that two man. Cohen steps up field anticipating a switch. And when the defenders are switching, the natural offensive counter is to slip. 
Holman slips behind it and gets his feet set, opens up those hips, so he's shot ready. As soon as he catches it, he can quickly release it. Donville's probably done a million two-on-twos oh, in his life. <laughs> Since he was like two years old. Erlen wins another draw. It's automatic. Dumps it to the wing, Kavanaugh. Now Ryan Drenner over to Holman and Nolting. Will play catch with Holman. Plenty of time to shoot. Ethan Raw with that cause turnover. One of the steals of the draft, right? Or it wasn't even drafted. Yeah, he was undrafted. Third in the league in cause turnovers. Nolting up top. Holman! Dragon fire from Marcus Holman! Find some gems. That's what Brian Holman did. He only had two draft picks this offseason. Undrafted, underrated no more. Ethan Rawl making his presence felt in the PLL, giving the highest scoring offense in the league an opportunity with a higher gun in Marcus Holman. This starts with a hard down down the, down the alley, throw the ball forward. Marcus fades to that backside, and he ain't missing a step down from there. You know, it's amazing when you think of this journey of the Cannons. I, for one, did not think they'd be rolling like this. Donville over to Kavanaugh. Now Holman gets the pick from Drenner. Right back to Drenner. Let's it go and scores. Now the old give and go. If you watch the Cannons play offense, the ball doesn't die in anyone's stick. It's not in anyone's stick longer than a second, second and a half max. Cavadal moves it up top, gets over to Holman. Good two-man game. They slip it, and it's a great finish. That's the IQ of Marcus Holman. He knows if he's not a shooter out that pick, right, because they, they hedged him and both defenders kind of eyes on Holman, who'd it leave wide open? Trenner, it's lacrosse IQ. Marcus Holman thinks like a coach on the field. I said give and go, I meant pick and roll. Back right. About an eight second differential between game clock and the shot clock. The rookie Campbell. Donville. Can't get free from Scarpello. Finds Holman inside. Smash and cash. The Cannons playing unselfish lacrosse. It starts with a Campbell sweep. Donville going, fighting for, fighting for leverage in the middle of the field. And their captain always moving off ball, finding seams. Fighting for leverage here. Marcus front swing, sees the back of his man's head and makes a great cut. Marcus, it's Kark up in the booth. Why are you so good off ball? <laughs> I think it's just experience, man. Um, coaching the game, you know, playing for 11 years. I, I've, I've studied this game every day, so it's just seeing that open spot. Donnie drew a double, and I was just able to fill that empty void in the middle of the defense there. What's it like being back in Baltimore? I know your dad played on this field. You grew up only five miles away. Oh, it's great. I got, you know, 25 family members in the crowd, hometown, grew up two miles down the road, so it's awesome. Feels good. What I would say about Marcus Holman, I shot with him actually out in Annapolis on Monday, and the goals he has scored today are all things we were repping on Monday. He's never just taken step Maybe downs. Maybe he should coach. You were probably giving him the workout. <laughs> as long as I don't have to run. That is landing it all over him. Walker, the short stick trainer, gives it up to Sowers. What's it? What's it? Sowers drives by Keelty, looking for Courier. Turnover. Shot clock runs out. Quick restart. Here's Holman. Van Raphorst cranks, fires, scores from two. A hundred and seven miles per hour. He's a guy when he played for the Atlas, along with CJ Costabile, Mike Earhart, and Jared Newman, the biggest threats with a pole from deep. 
Marcus Holman with the quick restart, the IQ to understand it's time to go. Van Raphorst follows a giddy up 107 turn and rake DeLuca. Uh, yeah, I think Apple got him, Cotter, with a little bit of a trail check. 52 and white leads the league and cause turnovers. Holman does a nice job to catch that ball. Apple is just draped all over him. One of the halftime stresses from Coach Holman had to be, let's move the ball around. You know, you can see the pass in the ball. Oh, so much wow, and that's a beautiful pass. Holman on the receiving end. Donville with the dish. We're tied at eight. This is, a, this is an amazing pass. Like, why did he throw this? How did he throw this? It's almost over the goal. It's off to the corner. Watch this pass. Right to left across your screen. He just sees him out of the corner of his eye. Donville, in the last couple of weeks, Cotter, is, is really surging. That's just trust. They know that Holman will get his stick on it. And you trust your leader of your team to make a play. Donville was a guy last year where he was picked up originally by the Chaos, I believe. Yes. He's now, he's now found a home, and Holman climbing up the charts. He really has. You think about the, the Kelly makes the save in the quick outlet. Isaiah Davis Allen. It's a steady save by Kelly, who held his ground. Glazer, will he shoot? He does! It sounded like that one may have gotten a piece of the pipe. Curse comes out of there with it and fires downfield to Holman. Holman shoots and scores. That all started with a beautiful outlet from Kirst. Premature shot by the Redwoods. You, know, you, you got a pole dodging as if he's got a, he's an attackman. Bad shots get punished. And for the second consecutive week, Marcus Holman lines himself up right in front of our cameras. This angle will show the, the damage to the corner. I think with this, this angle, folks, this will be scintillating. You're going to love this. Boom. Two weeks in a row, high to high, just high heat, straight overhand release. There's no level change there, and yet goalies, I guess they're anticipating that he's going to yank that down low, coach. That's two weeks in a row. It's a, it's a high rotation, a high release to, to a high spot in the goal. Speed and accuracy. Some Fairman who's having a game tonight, and they execute a pinch double team against a really good player. That's sensational defense. Campbell now working on a shorty himself. Double team comes. Nolte. Oh, good look to Hall in front. Holman's like Canadian guys. He catches everything, and the tighter the situation, the more smooth he is. This baby started with defense. In space, too. What a double team. Kirst is tied up, pinched double team, and these guys go to work. Look at the strength and athletic ability of Bubba Fairman from Utah. And then trust right here, kind of a little bit of a slip there. Holman comes down to go line extender right there. Bales on the pick, and Glazer's caught no man's land, or someone from the backside's got out. Nice decision by Marcus. The pick's not there, he slips it. There you see these two, Holman and Pinnell, two of the all-time greats, moving up the list. Put it in play from X, here's Campbell again. Slips his defender too high once again. Good show. Holman scores! Activate! Great job, Maddie. Keep going. Fucking right. League leader in points, Marcus Holman. I mean, you, you get the ball inside the cylinder there and, and He's just burying everything in sight. We talked about his quiet first half. He hasn't been quiet lately. 
certainly has not. Four goals on the night. Look the way he set up his feet and his hips so that when he caught it, it was kind of one motion. Seventh tie of the night, and we are deep in the fourth quarter. And that's the flying around that Coach Presley was talking about at halftime in a positive manner, under control. Atlas have forced the Cannons to miss their last 16 shots. Now 17 as Knowlton goes wide. Again, it's the best shooting team in the league. 32% tops in the PLL. That'll help. Marcus Holman is on the board. Late clock. Going to breathe a sigh of relief. First half, he was 0 of 6 shooting. We've seen this act before. We've seen this play before, I guess, where he then explodes the second half, but he just gets lost off ball. As Lonnie does a good job of finding him, and Maycar, it looks like he kind of lost his sense of Holman where he was for a split second. And that ball is in and out of Holman's stick in a split second. As that shot clock ticked one, you could see it in the background of that previous angle. Holman earlier this year became the fourth player at the time ever with 300 goals. Rob Pinnell has since joined him in that group, and he's now just two behind Brendan Mundor for third all time. Fifteen meeting number nine. His brother wears number three in white. Chris, who's also having a pretty good year, scores. That's Donville. This is why Holman's game is so balanced and elite. We talk about his struggles finding the back of the net the last two games. This team is built on passing. No team has more assists in the PLL in 2023. Vintage Jonathan Donville. Why come with the left when you have a right hand like that, Canadian? Well, that well either. Slanian out of the box. Behind and holding quickly to Donville. Donville on Muller, now up top. Here's Drenner. He's been quiet today. Good pass inside. Scores! Found Holman cutting. That's his first today. This is what makes the Cannons offense click. Ball movement. Where is the cutter? It's the sixth sense to find the seam and pass it to a spot where Holman comes off the cut and the ball is waiting for him. That is a beautiful dish by Jonathan Donville. And you see Holman, how quick he is to release that ball. It's a beautiful in tight. All in one motion. Finish, yeah. Catch and the shot. And his so side of the game he's had today. He's so unpredictable with his shooting, too. A lot of times you'll see him catch it in three quarter. That time he caught it low and shot it low. Fox finds Campbell. Now full head of steam with the defender chasing. Nolte shoots and scores. Will they rule him in the crease? The officials talk it over. It's a good goal. Burnmore seems to think that Nolting's foot was on the crease. The call, at least at the moment, is that Nolting has a good goal. This is an incredible goal. I think let's see. We're gonna take a look at it. Yep. Look at the left foot. Yeah, I think he's on the line there. I don't know. You might be able to see a little green there. Really? You can see him. Ooh, it's so close. Uh, he might be on. We're not reviewing it. That is a great goal. That was something else. Well, Staggs is looking at it. Let's see if he throws the challenge flag. It doesn't look like he's going to throw it. It's going it to stay in his pocket. Like yeah, I don't want to mess with Staggs right now. No. <laughs> the last thing you want to do right now, if you're a midfielder for the whips, is turn the ball right. over. Blue in that stick. 
Kirst. But there's the big body of Nolte, right? We're so... More touches than any team in the PLL this season. More assists. It's just understanding. It's, it's so efficient, too. And Marcus Holman's a huge reason for the efficiency. The most efficient team in the PLL. Oh, picking up the junk and finding the back of the net is Holman himself. That was a play that went awry, Cork, but Holman saw the opportunity, knifed his way in front of the goal, and buried the loose change. He's feeling it. He's back in Salt Lake City. You get efficiency when you have Marcus Holman on your team. You get some flash. You get some pop. You get some creativity. The cannons are surging. Holman was on Shannon Chuck initially. That is a bomb from Aslanian! They're not even going to attempt one point goals anymore. <laughs> what a stroke. What a stroke. These are two heaters in a row. Marcus Holman gets the assist, and these are from deep. Quick double. I don't know why the whips showed with two there, but there was still defensive help on the adjacent pass to Aslani, and it's not like he didn't have a defender in front of him. They just didn't respect him from that deep, and he is one of the better shooters in the PLL. He's a Hobart grad who had a phenomenal career up in Geneva. And now he coaches, especially with this glare, too, for the goalies. And he comes out of the shadows. When you're running out of yes. the box down there, he's coming out of the shadows, so you may not see him until he's right on you. That time, Drenner. Now up top to Campbell. Here's Aslani in near side with his left at the outside of the cage. Watch out for Holman. Here scores! We saw it last night with Westberg in front of the cage, picking up every loose ball, all the junk. Holman's doing that tonight. There's his wife, Alex, loves it. Marcus, we're looking at these replays. What's up with all the shovel shots tonight? Marcus, we're looking at all these replays. What's up with all these shovel shots tonight? I don't know, Clark. I was at a lot of the Athletes Unlimited game. I saw Kenzie Kent do that a bunch of times. So I think that should be worth two points, but I'll take the one. In Athletes Unlimited, it is. <laughs> Why is this team going for so many two-pointers? Was it part of the, the game plan, or is it just the opportunities that are arising? I don't know. I mean, Cade has just been money. I think that's four straight games. And Chris Aslani and two, practiced that all week. I was with him. So just reps and good timing. Thank you, Marcus. Under the helmet, powered by Cash App. Holman's been a second-half player these last three games. 0 for 9 in the first half in the last three. 8 for 14 shooting in the second half. Shooters get into a groove, and they get confident. And they start, like, in a weird way, like, blacking out, right? They just work off of instincts. That's why these shovel shots. He's had two today. In the cannons huddle. Well done. Ethan Rawl. I mean, this guy is a lacrosse player an absolute thief. He's made two amazing plays in this game. One shorthanded turnover force that led to a goal, and then that one, Holman. That may salt it away. Look at Ethan Rawl. He stripped the opposition in the first half when they were down a man. Now he picks it off. Marcus, we're watching Ethan Rawl dominate this lacrosse game. When you watch him play, what goes through your mind? I mean, him and I mean Earhart has had that thrown. He's the best still, but Ethan Rawl's right there. I think he's the next best for sure. What's it been like for you to to play with the backdrop of the Wasatch Mountains that you spent so many years. What's it emotionally for you? Pretty awesome just to have a great crowd out here and just full of gratitude for sure.
Great job, Marcus. Under the helmet, powered by Cash App. Holman, great second half. Four goals, three assists. All but one of those. Quickly, Atlas get into their offensive Good. flow after getting possession with the 32-second shot clock. And on that face-off, they had offensive personnel on the wings and another guy waiting in the box. So they're prepared what to do post-Baptiste win. We'll see this phenomenal offense. And Holman scores! That's how phenomenal it is. Quick early offense from Cannons off of the turnover. You get the ball to Asher Nolting. He aggressively goes right to the rack. A nice little rub picked by Bubba Fairman. And Holman just backdoors Durkin, who's looking to help here. But this is the Cannons offense in a nutshell. It's Nolting, 20 goals, 20 assists coming in, and Holman, league leader in points. I love the way Holman and Nolting styles complement each other. Holman is, the, Holman is that guy that finds the seams, while Nolting is that bull dodger that attracts the eyes of the defense. And you have to wonder if that chemistry, Charlotte, comes from the fact that they spent so much time in the offseason working lacrosse camps together. So they developed that chemistry. Atlas pressing out defensively. And they've got Teat out there. On they Holman. Finds a cutter, behind the back, scores! Ryan Trenner! Is this a fun team to watch or what? Well, there's your Sports Center Top 10 nominee, Charlotte. Unbelievable around the world effort by Ryan Drenner. The only seam Marcus saw was to his right hand. He kept it there on his off stick side. He caught it. And the only option he had was to go around the world there. <laughs> Feet almost to goal line extended. Wow. Filthy. Filthy. Cannons are rolling. Runs it in. There's that man, Raw. Another cause turnover. And another opportunity the other way quickly. Holman behind the back. Finished off by Nolting. And that may finish off the Atlas. That's where they're gonna make you pay for those turnovers. They are lethal in transition. What a beautiful pass by Marcus Holman. He knew where the open man was. And Asher Nolting up the hash jump shot. That's been working for him tonight. First assisted goal by Nolting. He's got a hat trick. His first two came in the unassisted manner. But you love him getting farther upfield there, increases his angle. No rotation over on the left side, and Nolting makes him pay. About his job. Yep, like let him finish. This is a guy who was a finalist for goaltender of the year. He was spectacular this season. Number four in saves, a bright spot for this franchise. Let him know in the offseason he's the guy. Yeah, I think you're spot on there, Clark. Holman with a goal, deficit now 10. This is an interesting release point by Marcus Holman. You rarely see him shoot low to low. He's normally a three-quarter overhand type of hammer where he loves to shoot the ball high or low from that release point. You rarely see him pure underhand here, Ryan. Yeah, and that's because he catches it low. So as a shooter, when you don't have a lot of time, you want to shoot from the same release point where you caught the ball. Yeah, it's like Matt O'Keefe does. It's a more efficient mechanics. Back point by right, Joe, by left, Steve. 